tonight, we're taking another look into Milwaukee's rich history. Part of UWM's campus used to be a thriving women's college. New at 10, Carol Meekins takes a closer look at the legacy of the Milwaukee Downer College. The area near Downer and Hartford has been dedicated to education long before the top tier research facility, the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee was created in 1956. We sat down with University Records Officer Brad Houston to learn about its history. The Milwaukee Downer Seminary, which was built um, just south of Hartford Avenue in 1848, and Wisconsin Female College, which was established in 1854. There was a merger in 1895, and that's really when it starts being called Milwaukee uh, Downer College. Only four buildings now remain of what was once Milwaukee Downer College, a private liberal arts school that was exclusive to women. They were based on this radical idea that women should have an education too, outside of just like training for nursing or mm -hmm. for you know teaching. Starting with just 58 women, enrollment peaked at around 400 in the 40s. Once UWM came around, the school started to see a decline. Finally, not being able to compete with the UW system, the land and the buildings were bought for $10 million. We found footage of the day the closing was announced in the archives at the UWM Golda Meir Library. Go to college and find out the next day that your college is no longer going to exist. While the buildings and land went to UWM, the college was to merge with Lawrence University just a few hours north. I want to stay in Milwaukee. I love the city, and, and I, I just don't want to go to Appleton. But to Appleton they went. 44 out of 49 members of the freshman class continued their education at Lawrence. And now the buildings have thousands of students walking their halls, housing education for over a century. Carol Meekins, today's TMJ4. And that story was researched and put together by our assignment editor, Mary Franzen. Well, tomorrow we'll be